What's up guys, Stork here with the tentative patch notes from the Project Diablo 2 Season 4 Beta. I'm going to go through this real quick, kind of like my no filler update series. So for general changes, we have Mercenary and Pet AI has been drastically improved across the board. Mercenaries will now always have their auras active and no longer need to waste AI ticks in order to activate them, which drastically improves their active uptime. So that pretty much is the AI improvement right there, because they're not trying to cast their auras, they're actually attacking more. You may now hold more than one word's leg. Find item no longer works on map bosses. You may now hold multiple unique charms, however only the first one placed in your charm inventory will provide the stats. Act 1 mercenaries may now use Amazon bows. Act 3 mercenaries may now use sorc orbs, paladin shields, and maces. Remove crafting recipes increasing the level requirements of the item. Time between Bale's waves has been reduced by 50%. Stamina Shrines now grant plus 50% Velocity. Gem Shrines can now be used with stacked gems. You may now hold up to 5 million gold in your stash instead of 2.5 million. Catacombs level 3 and 4 increase to area level 85. Catacombs 1 and 2 increase from area level 73 to 80. Hell Mode and Dariel is now level 85 boss. Hell Mode and Dariel's melee attack damage increased to 10%. Hell Mode and Dariel's health has been increased to roughly 23%. Hell and Ariel now drops from the same pool of items as Mephisto. Telrosh's tomb increased from area level 80 to 82. Hell Duriel is now a level 85 boss. Hell Duriel now has the same drop rate table as Hell Bale. Two-handed weapons can once again roll up to six sockets from corruptions or up to four from the puzzle box. Deadly Strike and Critical Strike modifiers are now capped at 75% instead of 100%. Deadly Strike is now a 1.5 times modifier instead of a two times modifier. All physical damage skills have had their scaling improved to compensate for the Deadly Strike change. This will allow physical builds to be less gated behind Deadly Strike, which will in return make them stronger, earlier ladder, and open up more itemization choices. Auto Gold Pickup has been added. Blind's target no longer counts as a curse and therefore no longer overrides curses. You can now hold left click to apply all of your skill points to the skills tree, similar to stats. You can now hold control and left click to apply 5 stat or skill points at a time. Murderous mod, 2-5 to five life after each kill, increased from a level 47 and 42 level requirement mod to a level 51 and 44 requirement mod. Bloodsucking mod, 1-3 to three life after each kill, increased from a level 32 and 26 level requirement mod to 26 and 22. Three new maps will be added later on during the closed beta, however they are currently disabled. The three red portal areas in Act 5, Abaddon, Pit of Acheron, and the Infernal Pit, have had their density increased by 40-50%. to 50%. These are also level 85 zones in Project Diablo 2. Arrows and bolts may now roll rare or magic. Senpai will add the FX list to the sheet during the closed beta, and he says he will also be updating them during the week to allow them to be corruptible. Dying in PvP Arena no longer requires you to retrieve your corpse. Dying in a PvP arena on Hardcore will no longer result in a permadeath. They have added a second PvP arena, which can be purchased at Anya in Act 5 Hell. Maps will now have a chance to contain 1-5 to five new random events that can happen in any map including the Dark Wanderer event, Shadow of Mendelin event, Treasure Fallen event, Horizon event, and the Butcher event. A new Uber has been introduced, which will not be available in the beta. The Uber is Rothma. Jewels can now be broken down with the key to create jewel fragments, which are stackable crafting recipes that can be used in replacement for a jewel in any crafting recipe. For skill changes, we're starting with the Amazon. Jab's fence energy increased from 8% to 12%. Jab damage increased from 15% per level to 18%. Jab base damage increased from 15% to 20%. Fence energies increased from 8% to 12%. Fire, arrow, minimum damage scaling increased from 2616-3248 to 2616-3656, so it's increased on the high end. Fire, arrow, maximum damage scaling increased from 3717-34 to 3102040-60. Emulation, arrow, fire, damage over time synergy increased from 16% to 18%. Emulation, arrows, fire, damage over time scaling increased from 55 per level to 45. 9, 10, 14, 15, 19, 20, 24 to 25. Emulation arrow level 1 damage increased from 7 to 9 to 8 to 10. Poison javelin missile hitbox size increased by 100%. Plague javelin missile hitbox increased by 100%. Power strike nova AoE increased by 14%. 
Lightning Fury now gains an additional bolt every 5 base levels instead of every 10 soft levels. Lightning Fury now gains 1 less damage per level from 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Lightning Fury now starts with 60 damage at level 1 instead of 40. Valkyries now have Vanilla Life Regen. Valkyries AI has been drastically improved and they no longer use a normal attack. Critical Strike now caps at 75 instead of 80. Decoy has been reworked to become a Strafe Trap and now casts Strafe, dealing flat physical damage and functions similar to a trap. This damage scales from plus skills, not weapon damage. However, decoys can benefit from auras. Yeah, it's still in the works and it's not finished. It's going to be balanced during beta as people test it. For the Assassin, Blade Sentinel synergies increase from 10% to 12%. Blade Sentinel level 22 to 28 base damage increase from 5.5 to 6.6. Blade Sentinel level 28 plus base damage increase from 6.6 to 8.8. Blade Sentinel now benefits from Pierce at half efficiency, similar to other traps. Blade Shield now has Blade Fury and Blade Sentinel as synergies at 8% each. Blade Shield now deals a quarter damage from a half. Blade Shield damage scaling increased from 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 to 5, 5, 7, 7, 10, 10, 13, 13, 13, 16, 16. Death Sentry flat damage scaling changed from 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Death Sentry synergies reduced from 6% to 4%. Chain Lightning Sentry Synergies increased from 13 to 14%. Lightning Sentry Synergies increased from 12 to 14%. Charge Bolt Sentry's Lightning Sentry and Chain Lightning Sentry Synergy increased from 4% to 6%. Charge Bolt Sentry Death and Fire Sentry Synergies reduced from 7 to 6%. Claw Blocks Maximum Block Chance reduced from 65% to 50%. Claw Blocks Minimum Block Chance reduced from 20% to 15% and Claw Block now works while moving, which is a huge buff. Claw and Dagger Mastery's enhanced damage per level increased from 8% to 10%. Tiger Strike's enhanced damage bonus increased from 20% damage per level to 25. Tiger Strike level 1 base enhanced damage bonus reduced from 100 to 50%. Tiger Strike duration increased from 15 seconds to 1 minute. Tiger Strike now grants 20% increased splash radius on charge 2 and 40% on charge 3. Dragon Claw's 5% damage per level increased to 15%. Dragon Claw's 6% synergy increased to 8%. Dragon Claw now has Weapon Block as a synergy. Dragon Talon 15% damage per level increased to 20%. Dragon Talon now has Dragon Flight as an additional synergy. Dragon Talon synergies increased from 8% to 10%. Kick skills now benefit from min and max damage from off weapon sources, damage to demons and undead. Sources of critical or deadly strike, off weapon enhanced damage, and flat damage. Dragon Tail 10% damage per level increased to 15. Dragon Tail now has Dragon Flight as an additional synergy. Dragon Tail synergies increased from 8% to 10. Dragon Tail attack speed reduction reduced from minus 40 to minus 20. Dragon Tail radius increased from 4 yards to 6 yards. Phoenix Strike Meteor ground fire damage now lasts 2.2 seconds, up from 1.2. Phoenix Strike's Blade of Ice Synergy increased from 10% to 14%, and Phoenix Strike Claw of Thunder Synergy increased from 13% to 14%. Blood Golems now apply Open Wounds. Revives now have Melee Splash. Revives now gain additional 10% damage per level. Skeleton Warrior's damage per level increased from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Skeleton Warrior's Skeleton Mastery Synergy increased from 10% to 12% and Skeleton Warrior's Skeletal Magi Synergy is removed. Skeleton Mage's Missile Hitbox has been increased by 100%. It's still in the works and will be balanced during beta. Necromancers now have a new Skeleton Archer skill, also still in the works. Poison Dagger has been reworked to Poison Strike and can now be used with Scythes and Daggers. Poison Strike's energies increase from 22% to 24%. Poison Strike's Starting Poison Pierce increased from 1% to 2%. Dark Pack's Iron Maiden and Cursed Mastery Synergy increased from 16% to 18%. Blood Warp now costs 10% of current health instead of 10% of maximum health. For the Barbarian, Leap Attack now uses durability. Leap Attack now rolls its damage on each monster instead of each leap. Leap Attack's synergies increase from 6% to 8%. Leap Attack's base enhanced damage bonus increased from 10% to 30 General Mastery increased from 5 to 8% per level. General Mastery 28% damage base increased to 30%. Spear and Polearm Mastery increased to 10% per level from 6. 
Throw Mastery is 28% damage base increased to 30. Throw Mastery damage per level reduced from 5 to 4%. Double Throw reduced from 8 maximum bounces to 5. Double Throw initial hit bonus removed. Double Throw bounce range reduced to 25%. Double Throw damage per level reduced from 6% to 5%. Concentrate damage per level increased from 6% per level to 8. Concentrate battle command damage per level synergy increased from 6 to 8. Bash magic damage per level increased from 1% per level to 2% per level. Bash 12% damage per level is increased to 14% per level. Bash synergies increased from 10 to 12%. Stun has been reworked and now stuns in an area of effect. Frenzy increased from 10% damage per level to 12. Frenzy synergies increased from 6% per level to 8. Frenzy move speed tooltip now shows the proper values. Frenzy now gains increased splash radius per charge. Berserk increased from 10% per level to 12. Berserk synergy increased from 8 to 10%. Berserk is now uninterruptible. Warcry damage scaling changed from 1, 2, 8, 16, 24 to 1, 3, 10, 17, 24. Grim Ward increases from 5% damage per level to 8, and Grim Ward base enhanced damage bonus increased from 30% to 40. Taunt is now an AoE skill. When dual wielding, Whirlwind now swings with both weapons each attack, and Whirlwind damage per level has been increased from 4 to 6%. For the Paladin, Zeal damage per level has been increased from 16% to 20, Zeal synergies increased from 16 to 20, Charge damage increased from 25% per level to 30. Charge synergies increased from 20 to 25%. Sacrifice damage increased from 15 to 25%. Sacrifice synergies increased from 20 to 25%. Holy Bolt heal per level reduced from 1 per level to 1 every 2 levels. Holy Bolt synergies increased from 6 to 8%. Holy Nova heal increased from 80 to 100. And Holy Nova heal per level increased from 10 to 20. Blessed Aim's attack rating increased from 15 to 20%. Blessed Aim's level 1 attack rating bonus increased from 75 to 80%. Concentration Aura attack rating bonus increased from 4 to 5%. Concentration Aura damage has been increased from 10% per level to 12. Smite's enhanced damage per level reduced from 30 to 20%. But Smite's level 1 enhanced damage is increased from 15 to 20%. Added Smite and Defiance as Holy Shield Smite damage synergies at 5% each. Holy Shield level 22 to 28 damage scaling has changed from 4 to 4 per level to 5 to 5. And Holy Shield 28 plus damage scaling changed from 4 to 4 per level to 6 to 6. Might Aura scaling increased from 10, 12, 14, 16, 18% to 15, 25, 35, 45, 55%. Act 5 Mercs and monsters in the game will have their might or strength reduced to match previous values. So it's not going to affect the way might hurts you <laughs> when you're fighting monsters. Fanaticism personal damage increased from 17% per level to 20. Fanaticism party damage increased from 8.5% per level to 10. Redemption aura no longer works on desecrate corpses. For the sorceress, Nova damage scaling changed from 5, 7, 7, 9, 8, 11, 10, 13, 12, 15, to 6, 8, 8, 10, 9, 12, 10, 13, 11, 14. Lightning FCR breakpoints changed from lightning to regular frames. Lightning synergy reduced from 8 to 6%. Lightning max damage scaling changed from 12, 15, 20, 24, 28 per level to 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Chain lightning synergy reduced from 7 to 6% but Chain Lightning max damage scaling has been changed from 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 to 13, 16, 19, to 13, 16, 19, 22, and 25. Teleport reduces debuff duration by 2% per base level from one. So basically teleports faster, that's what that means. Um, you, teleports way faster if you put more points into it. Charge Bolt can now reach 28 bolts from a maximum of 24 previously. Frozen Orbs range has been increased by roughly 20%. Reduced startup delay on Hydras, and Blaze has been reworked to do an initial explosion on cast as well as provide movement speed bonus. The fire trail has a hitbox size increase and scales better than previously. For the Druid, volcano damage scaling changed from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 per level to 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. Tornado's 10 mana cost at level 1 reduced to 2. Tornado now gains 0.125 mana cost per level. Twister's 10 mana cost at level 1 reduced to 2. 
Twister now gains 1.25 mana cost per level. Arctic Blast synergies increase from 18% to 20%. Fisher synergies increase from 8% to 10%. Werebear damage per level increase from 8% to 10% per level. Werebear form now grants 20% increased splash radius. Maul damage increased from 30% per charge to 40. Werewolf damage per level increased from 8 to 12%. Werewolf starting damage increased from 25 to 30%. Barrel rage damage per level increased from 8 to 12%. Feral Rage minimum move speed increased from 10 to 20%. Feral Rage maximum move speed increased from 80% to 120. Feral Rage duration increased from 20 seconds to 30. Feral Rage now has Fury as a synergy at 10% damage per level. Fury damage per level increased from 15 to 18%. Hunger Life Leech reduced from 1% every 4 levels to 1% every 4 base levels. Hunger duration changed from 20 seconds plus 2 seconds per base level to 20 seconds plus 1 second per base level. Hunger critical strike bonus changed from 5% plus 2 level to diminishing return scaling from 5% to 65%. Fire Claw level 1 costs reduced from 4 mana to 2 and Fire Claw mana costs now increased by 1.25 per level. Shockwave now starts with 4 shockwaves instead of 7 but gains an additional missile every 5 levels. Spirits will no longer attempt to run in melee range and will now properly stand by the character. Now for some item changes. Nat's Mark Claw 3-piece bonus change from minus 40 target defense to ignores target defense. All Sork Orbs now have plus all skills instead of plus Sork skills, but you can't use them on any character. They're still Sork specific, but you can use them on Act 3 Mercenaries. Death Fathom's 15-30% to cold damage has been changed from 20 to 30. Humongous now has 20% increased melee splash radius. Uh, Miss Shermit's Reader, Miss Shermit's Reaver, I guess that's right, 30% increased attack speed and 30% increased run speed has been reduced to 20. The 25% durability has been removed and it now has 20% deadly strike. Hellslayer's 20% chance to cast level 16 to 20 fireball increased to 30. Ethereal Edge's 5 to 10 life after each demon kill increased to 10 to 20 life after each demon kill. Death Cleaver's 66% deadly strike reduced to 50. Green Breaks plus 3 to 5 Raven increased to 4 to 6. The Minotaur's half freeze duration replaced with cannot be frozen. The Minotaur's 20% chance to cast level 20 Holy Bolt increased to 30. Bone Slayer's blades plus 4 to 6 to zeal increased to plus 8 to 12. Storm Rider Tabber's 5% chance to cast level 17 Chain Lightning on Strike has been increased to 10% chance to cast level 25 Chain Lightning. Storm Rider's 10% chance to cast level 25 Charge Bolt on Striking increased to 25. Guardian Naga's 5% chance to cast level 14 Nova on Striking increased to 5% chance to cast level 25 Poison Nova on Striking. Pompey's Wrath increased from 20% increased attack speed to 40. All Strikes plus 1 to 3 to Fury and Maul increased to 3 to 4. Axe of Fenmar 20% increased attack speed increased to 40. Gull Splitters 1, 24 to 30 varies. Lightning Damage increased from 1 to 60. Pluck Eye plus 1 to 2 to Cold Arrow has been changed from plus 2 to 3 to Cold Era as an O skill. Blast Bark now has Knockback. Sky Strike's 12% chance to cast level 8 Meteor increased to 20%. Rip Hook now has plus 15 to maximum damage. Kuku Shikaku now has plus 2 to mana after each kill. Endless Hail 8% chance to cast level 12 Blizzard increased to 15. Witch Wild Strings plus 1 Deadly Strike per level reduced to 0.5%. Witch Wild String now rolls plus 2 to 4 sockets from 2 to 3. Mage Rats 2 to 3 to Guided and Magic Arrow increased to plus 3 to 4. Gold Strike Arcs plus 200 to 250 enhanced damage to demons and Undead has been increased to 2 to 300. Hellrax plus 3 to 5 fire skills increased to plus 4 to 6. Hellrax 2 to 4 sockets increased 2 to 5. Gut Siphon 6% chance to cast level 36 Desecrate increased to 8%. Demon Machines 266 to 299 enhanced damage has been reduced to 2 to 200 to 250. Demon Machines 8% chance to reanimate as Demon Imp on Kill reduced to 6%. Langer Brizzers 1 to 212 lightning damage increased to 1 to 312. Doom Slingers 20% chance to cast level 12 fireball increased to 35. Storm Spikes plus 10 to 20% lightning damage changed to 20%. Heart Carvers plus 4 to Grim Ward find item and find potion increased to plus 5 to 10. Gargoyle's Bite, 15 to 25%. Enemy Poison Res has been increased to minus 20 to 30. 
The Cranium Bastard's 8% chance to cast level 25 amp damage has been changed to 10%. Earth Shifter's 60% faster cast rate has been increased to 80%. Schaefer's Hammer, 20 to 40% increased attack speed changed to 40%. Schaefer's Hammer Light Radius has been increased from 1 to 4 to 8. Storm Lash's 20% chance to cast level 18 Tornado on Striking has been increased to level 28. Storm Lash's 240 to 340 enhanced damage has been trained has been changed to 300 to 340. Horizon's Tornado is 3 to 5 on Tornado, and Twister increased to 4 to 6. Nord's Tenderizer's level 16 Blizzard with 12 charges have been replaced with 15% chance to cast level 26 Blizzard on Strike. Blood Tree Stumps 180 to 250 enhanced damage increased to 210 to 260. Basil's Vortex 14% chance to cast level 25 Nova on Striking increased to 20% chance. Moonfall's 5% chance to cast level 6 Meteor on Striking increased to 10% chance to cast level 26 Meteor on Striking. Sure Shrill's Frost. Sure Shrill's Frost. 7% chance to cast level 9 Frost Orb increased to 10% chance to cast level 14 Frozen Orb. And the General Tandu Lijaz adds 120-30 damage change to adds 130-40 damage. For Pole Arms, Stormspire's 60% chance to cast level 20 Static Field has been increased to 75% chance to cast level 40 Static Field. Stormspire's 75% chance to cast level 30 Charge Bolt increased to level 40. Tomb Reaver's 1 to 3 sockets increased to 2 to 4. Bone Hue's 1 to 4 sockets increased to 2 to 4. With Grimm's Burning Dead, you may now summon 6 additional Skeleton Mages, increased to 8. Pierre Tombel Corantz adds 12 to 36 to 20 to 60 damage, changed to 24 to 36, 40 to 60. The wording is kind of weird there. Athena's Wrath's plus 2 to summon skills increased to plus 3 to 4. Athena's Wrath plus 1 maximum damage per level increased to plus 1.5. Black Leech Blade plus 1.5 damage per level increased to plus 2 damage per level. The Meat Scraper's 25% magic find has been doubled. It has been increased to 50. The Meat Scraper's plus 3 to Masteries increased to plus 3 to 5. The Grim Reaper's plus 8 to 10 to raise Skeleton Warrior and Mage. O skill has been removed. The Reaper now has 20% increased attack speed and plus 10 to 20% increased poison damage. The Grim Reaper's 100% deadly strike has been reduced to 75. Soul Harvest 4 to 5 to Dark Pack increased to 4 to 6. Zakarum's Hand plus 2 to Holy Freeze and Holy Shock has been increased to plus 2 to 3. And Zakarum Hand's 10% chance to cast level 15 Blizzard has been increased to 20. For Swords, the Grandfather now rolls 200 to 275 enhanced damage instead of 150 to 250. Frostwind's 7 to 15% cold absorb has been removed, and Frostwind now has level 6 resist cold aura. Lightsaber now has level 6 resist light aura, and Azerath now rolls plus 1 to 2 all skills instead of just plus 1. The Jin Slayer now has level 6 resist fire aura. Sword Guard's 20% faster hit recovery is now 40%, and Sword Guard's 20% increased chance of blocking has been increased to 40. Toad's Fail Flame, 40% fire res removed, and Toad's Fell Flame now has level 6 resist fire aura. Cloud Cracks 34 defensive and offensive auras increased to 46. Cloud Cracks 1 to 240 lightning damage has been increased to 1 to 480. Cloud Cracks plus 2 to light radius increased to 5. Cloud Cracks attackers take damage 15 light damage increased to 1 to 150. And Cloud Cracks 6% chance to cast level 21 Fist of Heavens has been increased to 12% chance. Cloud Cracks plus 30 to defense increased to 120. The Vile Hus 12% chance to cast level 18 amp damage increased to 18. The Bin Wang's 20% chance to cast level 15 Frozen Orb on Striking increased to 33. The Crane Vamir's 10% physical damage reduction increased to 10 to 20. Plague Bear's 20 to 30 IAS changed to 30. Ginther's Rip 50 to 120 magic damage has been increased to 75 to 180. The Patriarch's 260 to 320 enhanced damage has been increased to 280 to 320. Rip Saw's 100 to 150 enhanced damage has been increased to 160 to 200. Black Tongue's 150 to 180 poison damage over 3 seconds increases to 300 and 360 over 3 seconds. Kinmill's All at 6 to 20 to 40 fire damage increased to add 16 to 40 fire damage. Soul Flay's 70 to 100% enhanced damage has been increased to 100 to 130. Shadow Fang's 100 to 140 enhanced damage has been increased to 120 to 160. Colwyn points 90 to 150 enhanced damage has been increased to 120 to 150. War Strikes 300 to 350 enhanced damage increased to 350 to 400. 
and War Strike's 25% chance to cast level 40 Nova has been reduced to 20%. For Wands, Death Webs plus 1 to 2 to Poison and Bone Spells, Necromancer only has been increased to plus 2 to 3. And for Claws, the Jade Talon now has 30% faster block rate. Biggin's Bonnet now rolls 30 to 50% enhanced damage from 30. Biggin's Bonnet now rolls 30 to 50 attack rating from 30. Tarnhelm now rolls 2 to 3 mana after each kill from 1 to 2. And Duskkeep now has 10 to 15 to maximum damage up from 8. The Face of Horrors 14 to 18 all res has been increased from 15 to 20. Howl Tusk 8% chance to cast level 5 Howl on Striking has been increased to 10. And Peasant Crown's 15% faster run walk has been increased to 20. Steel Shade now has 60 to 80% extra gold find, and Steel Shade's 20% increased chance of blocking has been increased to 30. And Dariel's Visage, 15% chance to cast 15 Poison Nova when struck, increased to level 25 Poison Nova when struck. Overlord's Helm, minus 15 to 20% physical resistance pierce has been increased to minus 20 to 25. Here is changed from minus 10 to 15 res to 5 to 10. Cyclopean Roars minus 5 to 10, Physical Pierce has been removed, and its plus 2 to War Cries are now plus 2 to 3. Terriel's Might, 125 to 175 damage to Demons and Damage on Dead has been increased to 2 to 250. Arcane's Valor, 30 faster hit recovery is now 40, and Arcane's Valor plus 5 vitality per level has been increased to 0.5 to plus 1 per level. Corpse Morn's Corpse Explosion is now plus 20 instead of plus 1, and Krokal's 35 to 50% enhanced damage increased to 50 to 80. For Shields, Almanegra plus 1 to 2 Paladin skills is replaced with 1 to 2 all skills. The same goes for the Herald of Zakarum skills. Kalan's Legacy 1 to 3 sockets reduced to 1 to 2, and Kalan's Legacy level 5 to 8 Vigor Aura has been reduced to 4 to 6. Spike Thorn's 20 to 50 damage increased to 30 to 60. For gloves, Grave Palm 10 to 18% Deadly Strike has been reduced to 10 to 15. Frostburn Cold and Fire Pierce increased from minus 5 to 10 to minus 4 to 6. Frostburn's Max Mana increased from 10 to 20% from 15 to 25. Mage Fist can now roll plus 1 to Poison, Cold, and Lightning skills as well as Fire. For Boots, Inferno Strides 5% chance to cast 16 Blades increased to 10 and Tear Haunches plus 1 to Vigor has been increased to plus 1 to 2. For amulets, uh, Saracen's 40 to 60 enhanced damage is now 60 to 80, and Metal Grid once again has its plus 300 to 350 defense mod. For rune word changes, Obedience can now be made in Hammers, Exile can now be made in any shield, Death rune word now gains 0.25 deadly strike per level, down from down from 0.5, and there are now three new rune words: Unending Will, Zenith. And ferocity. Thank you so much for watching guys. It's a long video but that's the current changes and as the beta continues I'm sure this will continue to take shape. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and stick around for more Project Diablo 2 content.